Miss Auntie Fire, me run away the way so I find a real McCoy, I'm giving birth to a for somebody here she's on the show, she's giving birth to a life. Uh-huh. She have her husband and she's a wife. And she run with the waist boy and get a real maca. <laughs> oh. Amazing. No one did you. Yeah, bunch of things are going bad about yourself today. Yo, people, welcome back to the Fix Podcast, episode one hundred and forty. Forty, yeah. Episode one hundred and forty. Tomorrow, now here with Ari, and with the returning Javi, Woo-hoo! and with friend of the show, a the word the boss himself has returned. Word boss, shadow <laughs> in the building. Word boss, word boss. Word boss. <laughs> why pre? Why pre? Why pre? Why pre? Why pre? Word boss. <laughs> shadow, what's good? What's up? All is well. All is well, all is well, all is well. <laughs> well, I can't I can tell you um since the last time I was on your show, a couple mm. of things happened. Speak on it. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh I went to the supermarket mm-hmm. and literally as I as I went through the door, um the security there was like, Who that word boss? <laughs> 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 Make up yourself, Madonna. <laughs> and the following day, actually. I was home and my phone rang. It was a mother calling. And my mother really don't call me that often. Wow. wow. Right. I mean, we speak, but generally I do most of the calling. So mm. I know generally when she call, it's something of concern mm. in most instances. So she called and I was like, hey, mommy, what's up? And she was like, well, I hear you was on TV talking about <laughs> the dance hall people, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Look at us, look at us, reuniting families, look at us. <laughs> she, she, she goes, I hear you was on TV talking about them dance hall people, you know. Please be careful. I am going to ask Jesus to cover you. <laughs> Who's giving mom the scoop? Wow, it's hilarious. On TV? Yeah, well, on TV too? Yeah, well, right, no, well, you my see, mother, my, mom, my, mom is, my mom is a Christian and, mm. and pretty much... I mean, the only thing she listens is Love 101 and she watched TBN and she may watch the news. So I think what happened is because we were speaking on Vibes Cartel and she has seen him in the news a couple of times, you know, with all of his legal legal woes. Mm-hmm. So because of that, she I think it was her neighbor who actually saw the episode or, or the neighbor's son that saw the episode and said to my mom's, oh, you saw it on TV, yada, yada. And then my mom's now, without Lord knowing anything, Jesus. just call me. <laughs> Jesus because Christ that is of that, you know, you, you know, you know, they are right, you know, parents, you know, yes, no, so automatically, you know, <laughs> she's like, they're worried. Oh, oh my god, you had TV talking about vibes, cartel. They're worried, you know? yes. So, so from her here, she said that, and she's like, I'm going to ask the Lord to cover you. It's <laughs> like, Mom, it's not that serious. It was, it was just really an interview, though, Mom. Cool it. <laughs> It's not that oh God! Let's <laughs> not talk about that either. That's yo, what your mom saying. Yeah, but then I shadow come about the next day. I said, "But I'm ruining life." I'm back really, shadow really. <laughs> you ruined my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, I thought I, I, I think we enhanced it, I think we did. No, you known in these streets. I you know got, I, mean? I literally, within the course of about three days. From that interview, I got about a hundred and something DM messages. Wow. Yeah. Oh. So that has already... never happened. Generally, it's just a few DMs. Mm-hmm. From because some, from I'm not on social media do, like from that. To do. Hey, nice shirt. <laughs> 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 I liked how you conjugate your verbs and no. Oh, oh yeah. god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of it was business, yes. Oh, mm-hmm. Sure, sure. A lot of it was business. Sure, sure, sure. Mm-hmm. Um, so, and, and that really just kind of puts into perspective how, um, the power of your show. Mm. That, you know, you, you really have a, a large audience out there. Yes, I understand you have a hundred and what, 45? No, 000? 47. As of get it and right. Then, get and it then right. Get it right. Get it right. Get Sorry. Put some respect on there. Yeah, yeah. yeah, well, true. Okay, well, it's been you know, a 147,000. <laughs> but that is just for YouTube because I think collectively you yes. guys have like a, almost about 
a quarter million um, subscriptions it's about across that. different platforms. It's about that. Yeah. So, yeah. So yeah, yeah. You guys pushing some weight, man. Across yeah. yeah. all <laughs> platforms. Because yeah. yeah. you guys, just, I mean, you guys are across <laughs> nine <laughs> platforms. <laughs> I just show. Sure. Yeah. You guys are across nine platforms. You're aware of that, right? I just show. Sure. Sure. Shout out to know these things. You know. yeah. Shout out to know these things. I, I just show. Mm. I literally just I, show. I was looking at it the other day and I was like, yeah, that's a good look. Nine platforms. Look Whoa. at this. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Who would have thought? <laughs> Who would have thought? <laughs> I mean, I, I think, I think, I think you guys really don't understand the power of what you have, and it's a, it's a fair, it's a fair statement to say. You guys are probably easily the the top entertainment podcast <laughs> within the Caribbean diaspora. Thanks, Shadow. Look at Shadow ring. ring, Shadow. Yeah, that's Shadow. Yeah, we'll soon get to you. We'll soon it's get not, to you. It's not. It's not. We'll soon get to you. <laughs> yeah. But from Shadow, I said these things. Yeah. Right? It's like if one come for a serious conversation, like, you guys really don't know. You don't no, know. but it's true, though, because, mm-hmm. I mean, I checked the analytics and I realized that, mm-hmm. you know, you guys are pushing, so you're pushing weight. Mm-hmm. You're pushing weight. I literally just show up. So this is right. all news to me. <laughs> I don't no really know me. Yeah. No. And no. outside and of that, certain things, I, I don't an say. Agent of the state. It's not empty right. words when I say certain things. Mm-hmm. You know, no, on but, this podcast. But, and I'm not boastful. Yeah, we know. Thanks to you, know you for that. watching. <laughs> of course. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Remember that podcasting is the fastest growing form of new media. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is. Right. And you guys <laughs> are at the are at the forefront and on the cusp of greatness greatness because the thing is that why should i no it's true Can you because not, like, be, no, so no 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 like, no i'm sweating like, no it's, it's I'm, weird. I'm not trying to flatter you i'm just i'm literally <laughs> trying to tell you the, the truth the no the because <laughs> no wait until i'm dead you guys been doing this for what, eight years oh Seven, and and seven, eight, shadow, no, seven, eight. seven eight yeah, yeah but you sent the you set the benchmark for all the others that are following suit I mean, there are so many podcasts now. Everybody and everybody and their mother is starting a podcast. <laughs> Swear, I'm everybody sweating. and them friend off the street, right? <laughs> but but the thing is that you you guys been doing this for a minute and and it's no getting better. Yeah, to the point where it's it's fair to say that you guys are officially a part of the uh, official tastemakers of the culture. Mm-hmm. And major influencers of the culture, like for example, there are a couple of programs when. When you want to know what is happening in this space, there are a couple of programs that you have to watch, and the fix is one of them. Mm-hmm. It's like if you are an artist and it's happening and yeah. you don't go on the fix, it's almost like you're a nobody. Tell that to my mom. <laughs> mom? No, believe you know, me. she's a traitor. Right. The podcast, the fix <laughs> is <laughs> it. You want to tell mom? You want to tell my mom? Yeah, I hope she sees this. <laughs> I've been calling her a traitor for like about a month. Cause she watch other people show and not ours. <laughs> Cause me don't know them people. That me say so why you can't learn. It's like no, I prefer to watch this other podcast Support because me, you know she she's aware of. No, it's people. not a podcast. Me know them things saying. You know. A king is not always crowned in his yeah. own country, you know, or his own land. Mm-hmm. So, so next sometimes next can you imagine next thing you mislead yeah. the people and things that are not a podcast. <laughs> you know. Yeah, it's not. Not it's, not letting them, them nobody. Do. And, and people sometimes, even the own, even your own <laughs> friends and family, sometimes don't support you. No, right. she's so a like, traitor. You like, well, put up that clip here. You she's have as a nice advertisement yeah. for the show. You have to go out there and do it big for them to sometimes believe because they see every day and they just think, oh no, but Ari's just my daughter, so mm. she's probably just doing this little thing. But no, moms, she making moves. Believe me. Believe. Right. High five. She's regular High fives all around. <laughs> I think we're doing pretty well for ourselves out here. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Shadow speaks truth. Yes, and I see. I see. Uh, Shadow um, is a is a known truth speaker. Right. I, I I mean I can see it because. Oh, um, your phone's ringing. Well, Shadow is over there in our fancy. Uh, what is that? A Tory Tory bird. <laughs> yes. And those aren't cheap, by the way, people. Right. Shadow, Woo! she have a baby father <laughs> slash husband. What you mean? <laughs> Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, and yeah, respect, and, uh, respect to mm-hmm. respect to our husband, right? Mm-hmm. But yes, I know I know the Tory birds. <laughs> I know and I know they aren't cheap. <laughs> Alright, since we're in these realms, let's just get to it. I was overseas jobs. once and a young lady was like, Yo, you can't bring back a Tory birch for me. She's just curious. <laughs> <laughs> 
Thanks. These things are quite pricey. Quite <laughs> 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 pricey. <laughs> So that's all like it would have do it. But they didn't find out the price. No, no, no. It's not. It's not. I mean, How doing it is. Your is no, doing it. Doing it is, is not the issue. It? Doing it is not the yeah. issue. Is I'm like, this is a pricey friendship. Yes. <laughs> I mean, it's uh, not, a pricey friendship. Yeah, it's 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 not like I mean, if, wait, wait, if the arrangement was different between money. us, you can't ask her back for the money. No, I wouldn't do that. No, no, I'm not about that life. You wouldn't say, well, oh, it's two hundred dollars. I want. No, if I'm buy, if I'm purchasing something for you, I'm just going to purchase it and and that's it. I'm yeah. going to give it to you as a gift. I don't I don't expect <laughs> it to be a refund. No, <laughs> but I'm like, oh, our friendship is not quite at that level for me to buy that's buy your toy. Like, how much is this vagina worth? <laughs> no, 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 no. Friendship. <laughs> Friendship. friendship. Yes. Okay, yeah. And you're you for me. We, we, we never got <laughs> okay. to that. Oh. It, the, yeah, the friendship never never transcend to. Or is like you're thinking, will this vagina be level? worth it? <laughs> <laughs> so she could I get a Bridget? She could I get a, a look at one Bridget? So how far off is Bridget and I'm mean, sure. It depends on which one. On it depends. This. It depends. Very I mean, cheap. you know, I mean, it's Very a range. Away. It's a range. Most, I, I would say generally, most um Tory Birch start at the decent ones start at like three, four hundred up US. Yeah, bro. Up. And mean, I mean I you could no idea what right. I mean, I've I known either. And it depends oh, whether it's a shoe it or a or a purse or mm-hmm. something else, right? Yeah. I stick to the sheens and forever twenty ones at least. Makes sense. So you know that's that's big people okay, talk. Yeah, okay. yeah. It's big yeah. people talk. <laughs> Okay, Big really. people talk. Job is up on the man and shut up. He's a man that look like him, my woman. Like, yeah, this is beyond me. Is I beyond mean, if you life. are my significant other, then, um, I mean, part of my duty, I consider it is as a man. I mean, my job is to provide, protect, procreate, and preside. So, hey, the, hear Miss Kitty? Good answer. Hear Miss Kitty? Yeah, Miss Kitty. The yeah. provision is a part of it, right? Miss Kitty. Oh, God. <laughs> I get you. All right. All right. All right. So, did anything change between um last week and this week? Has anything changed between any one of us here? What do oh, you mean? Among, uh, what do you mean? <laughs> Javi's pregnant <laughs> and she's married. Oh, they look at that. Would you look at that? Would you look? At, well, that. congratulations, congratulations, Javi. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, one more time. Hey, listen, one one more. <laughs> you get a Randy Watson for not inviting me to the wedding. Yo, people, a serious thing. The people, them things there, I was joking. I seriously did not make the final list for the wedding. Oh, Harry okay, went now. and Jervis went. Come, come. Come. It's all right, Javi. It's all right. Did Jervis did, however. <laughs> Did wait, Jervis wait, wait, go for work Jervis? or he actually went as a as a guest? As, as a guest. As a guest slash work. <laughs> <laughs> so me even get double title and, and double status. You know what I mean? Well, what did Nara get? Nada. Guess Zero. What? Guess what? Javi invited me and said he can stay in the car. Guess what? That's literally what I you did. I would even do that. No, what the fuck I did ever. No, I'm tell you why I never actually do it. Okay. Because, wait, look, you have something? Look what I got for you. Yay! That's the same color I got. <laughs> With love from the Martin. Hey! hey. No, she does do this style, you know, Shadow. I said it for our, you. Our I said, I said Nara has to get one of my souvenirs. So, here. Yay! Yay! I think I had a souvenir from the bachelor party. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Are we finna go that? Oh. The bachelor party. <laughs> Are we gonna talk about that? What? What happened there? I had an offer for Javi. An offer? If Javi forfeits this month's pay, I'll, I'll show her a video from the bachelor party. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Javi, you're not getting no money this month. I'm joking. I prefer money. All right. I prefer always. I'll show you I... the video from always. the bachelor party. I'll show you the videos. Uh, or some wild shit. It never happened. I heard no party happened, right. so I'm leaving it at that. Nothing happened indeed. Nothing happened. Nothing at all. 
<laughs> You're such a hater. Look at you all mash up the mash up the wire judges stars. <laughs> Yo, every marriage I forgot through these tests. Whatever. Mm-hmm. Whatever. Yeah, You're after, a hater. Well, yo, I didn't sleep that night. I no didn't sleep. Did. Uh, sure. Yeah. Yeah, but when yeah, we reached, when we reached, David, David was like wide eyed. I'm like, what happened? He's like, you know, so I'm gonna sleep. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Sleep like Look at adrenaline keeping him up. I yes. Did not sleep. Why drink, you never drink, sleep? Drink, drink. Because I usually make it a policy not to sleep <clears> around um, a, bag of man. a bag of man like that. Because, yeah. Fuckery not like bogery, <laughs> but fuckery can go on, you know, two pieces per and and all them sort of something so i i me just stay awake because mm. i can't bother with it yeah okay mm-hmm. my adrenaline <laughs> did a rush to come and drink a bag of red bull and magnum and everything oh you yeah. had fun yeah. Look ah, at quite you. the time quite the time i, also I had, heard that you were the dj i did i was the dj actually so you were trash <laughs> no 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 sure, no the no, musicals no, no. itch no, 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 and no. a play over why you not for play over sure, you never watch a party when you get married uh no you didn't why no. uh, lies you know all of them money i just said no <laughs> they might say no they never have uh, no party no. well first let me declare i'm a bachelor of so course let me just let you that's that, that out there no 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 mm-hmm. that's put that out there and, 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 I'm, and I'm, not, I'm not seeking anyone <laughs> <laughs> no but no but, but wait wait when sure you say bachelor <laughs> you you're not a bachelor what is that because a bachelor is somebody who's never been married no no. Yes, that's not a person who not who single. Isn't a that bachelor the is somebody who is single? Your bachelor status as long as you get married. Yes. I don't know why, why if you, you you get divorced like you don't. You're divorced. You're not considered as a no. Yeah. That's not quite how it works. Yeah. What is the definition? <laughs> Go, do your Google there. Yeah, but in the meantime, so you actually never have one for two. Yeah. No, I didn't. Why? Um. I don't know. I guess it wasn't, it wasn't, I mean, it was for me. No, I know why. Well, when I was overseas and I literally came back and the day off, I think it was literally the the (coughs) night before. Oh, right. And then it was just a little private ceremony. And then that was it. Right. (laughs) Them crosses I would have still have a final way for this. Kept so. final. <laughs> Sorry, Ari. A man who is not and and has never been married. Well, okay. Oh, okay. So I guess I am So you're a divorcee? Eh? Well, call it call it that if you want. <laughs> I guess you don't like the term. If you want to be a bachelor, you was a bachelor. Call yourself a bachelor. I don't know. I mean <laughs> Put it this way, I'm I am free single and disengaged. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are taken, Javi. You are taken. That's a ray for the others, you know. <laughs> oh, ladies, attack. No, that, that's okay. Don't, <laughs> don't. Go get you your tour no. birch from. <laughs> so, Javs, no Shut regrets. Up. No regrets. <laughs> you watch the Millers? The Red Millers? Oh, yes. You watch the Red Millers? Oh, come on, say you wouldn't get the joke. I got the joke. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Okay. Um, what are you saying? If oh, it's ready? just been a week. No. What's happening? What's wrong with it? It's, yeah? it's not a week yet. It's not a week yet, no. Oh, you yeah. feel any different? You feel any no. marid- marigerial? I just made that word. <laughs> Aura? Around no, you. no. Like people who feel different, just extra. Mm. Like, oh my God, I'm married now, so everything has to change and blah, 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 blah. No. We've been together for a very long time. Yes. So Adjust the ring. And the paper. Mm-hmm. Sign and seal. Boom. Wife. What? You have the you have now the ability to say whether he lives or dies. <laughs> and I like that. <laughs> <laughs> How was the ceremony though? I didn't I didn't of course I didn't go, but I didn't even watch the Zoom link either. Oh. It was me for half I say the time. It I say it hurt. <laughs> no, no, I was watching. I prefer to watch Manchester United. Oh, uh, shut up! Give Roma shut six up. Yeah, I was watching the match. You know, it was pretty yeah. But the ceremony was fine. It was short to the point, which is yeah. what we really wanted. Yeah. Intimate, small setting, and yeah, just beautiful. I saw a little and clip of DJ. And and Yo. you plan to so. and and you plan to mm-hmm. love him unconditionally. Always. You sure about that? Mm-hmm. I, I ask that because I know men are only loved 
yeah. based on their ability to provide. This is, this is true. This guy. <laughs> provide what? Right. Let's get into <laughs> that <laughs> gospel. No. And I say that because there's a misconception out there into the space where people are of the view that it's infidelity or abuse why most marriages fail. Mm-hmm. And actually the statistics say the reason why most marriages fail Mm-hmm. is because of a man's inability to provide. Mm. Whether it be sex or money or whatever? In most instances, it's the provision financially. Mm. Financial provisions. And material oh. things. Right. Okay. So you know that the relationship will be great and once you kind of hit that snag where he's not able to provide anymore, then you start to see. That is where you start to see the marriages start to diminish. For example, I mean, there was an article in, in the cleaner last week where they spoke about um, since divorce. January to present, over 1,200 divorces have been filed yeah. in Jamaica. Yeah. And the annual divorce rate is almost 4,000. 3, mm. Almost 4,000. Yeah, what, I think 2019 was 3,9. And then right. And the year last year was 3,6. Right, mm. So, but it's mm. almost 4,000. So when you look at that, you see it it's it's a scary reality because here's the thing. You're stuck with me forever. <laughs> because and and I say that I ask that question because I notice a thing in the West is like the divorce rate is spiking. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Um in the US, the divorce rate is 50%. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I know that's right, like, and yeah. the US has a population of 330 million, but then you look at a country like India, which has a population billion. of almost 1.4 billion, mm. and the divorce rate is one percent. And you look at China, which have almost 1.4 mil- billion, and the divorce rate is 3.5. So the question begs is China and India have the two largest populations in the world. What is it? But they are also not part of the West. What is it that they are doing mm-hmm. that the West is not, or the West is getting wrong? Why is it you think America? That the West is more. I can tell you why. They're more. Please enlighten us. Sorry. <laughs> At least they're more. They it's, value material. No. Things. No. More. Mm-hmm. No. Or the, it, is it that the, their value systems are just yes. so way different? Yes, it is. Okay. There was a recent study that showed that. And it was it was actually in relation to the pandemic and how different side of the world or different countries uh, that has been contributing to yeah. the strikes too. So part of the reason what they, they touch on is that Eastern countries with Eastern um family values, sorry, but more um collective. So the Eastern Eastern side of the world have a collectivism philosophy about the group is stronger together Mm -hmm. and therefore family in in india i was again this is based off reading and knowledge that i've acquired about indian families is that while the western people us us over here would want to move up by 21 Mm -hmm. in india it's perfectly fine for grandfather grandmother mother father live together young wife young bride and every other family live together in a house. Of mm. course, that is for people in the higher caste system who can. But even those born in the lower caste, their their family unit is strong and they prefer to stick together because they know that the further that they can go mm-hmm. is not individually, but in um, but as collective as a unit. In America, we preach individualism. So they put the individual before everything else. So in, a, in America, it's always about doing you and finding yourself and whatever. Mm-hmm. So whatever works for you, works for you. Do you, boo. And they, fi- and they, and they idolize that. Well, in the Eastern world, it's about collectivism and, mm-hmm. and ensuring that the collective unit goes further together than but, individual. But is it not a case also where is that people in the East tend to understand gender? <laughs> <laughs> but is it, not a case where, not is, it, is it not a case not a though, where people in the east 
understand gender dynamics a little bit better than those in the West? Hmm, that that was Let's another one, question. Sean, uh, because yeah, mm-hmm. I was wondering. Yeah, that the the the, the believe in the traditional views of man being a man, provider, protector, right. as you say. Well, you know, over in the West, it's blurred where women had to join the workforce. They're no primary breadwinner in some situations. Mm-hmm. So you know, a woman not really have to take check or take no shit from a man. While in the the West is like the the East, mm-hmm. the men are the primary caregiver us and the men also take that role respond um that responsibility as serious as possible too I no guess. but women in the you east know. work they do they work do in some, they, but like no in not in some in, in most countries in the east women work but them are the primary yeah. right and and the thing is that regardless of the fact that they work they understand the gender dynamics yeah. because you see the, the, the thing is that we live in a society in the west mm-hmm. where we're women a lot of women tend to behave like men Mm -hmm. and a lot of men are very effeminate right so what you find is that men are behaving like women and women are behaving like men in many Mm. instances Mm -hmm. right and then because of that because one of the things they said is that they know that women who tend to be independent tend to exude a lot of masculine traits yeah right and the Mm -hmm. thing is that you ask yourself so if a woman is independent, but because of that independence, she exudes a lot of masculine traits, why would a man be attracted to her? Mm-hmm. When you're because a man manly. is looking for a feminine woman. Mm. So you see, there goes there. That, that's part of the issue. Mm-hmm. Because it's like, oh, I, 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 I have my own job. I earn my own you know, money. No mm. man can't tell me what to do. And that type of behavior you know <laughs> is very put off to a lot of men a lot of men will not appreciate that yeah, right, so what, it what they're not going to do they're not before the, yeah. before the podcast started it's like oh i'm not going to be you know, no no it's, it's true a lot of men I'm are put off by that because yeah. for example for example a, a, con- a constant <laughs> cry you hear yeah. from women in the west is there are no good men they can't find any good men but mm. the good men are there the, the issue is the good men see the behavior mm-hmm. of these of many of these women and and they're like no you know i really don't want to have anything to do with that and the so thing be- is with some of these women is that they like to have their cake and eat right food. so they want to be on this feminist kick but then still they want to benefit from the equality the yes. universal traits of what it would be to be a woman that is cared for right them. All they want they, they want what they want is they want the traditional they want the traditional values yes that that are afforded to a woman but mm. then this uh, in the same vein they want to be that independent i'm not taking no trash from nobody type of so you can't have both you have to decide mm-hmm. right but so it, why you can't have like a little too a little too a little a little because, little because that you know is why? a valid question because <laughs> you know what Char, that Char is saying he's like take no trash from like why why is trash why have a tech trash? Like, why no is trash is included? Why okay. is trash a condition? Like, why can't I get respect? Mm-hmm. Why can't I get, like, a, a somebody who, you know, who is who have their own thoughts and their own yeah. mind and no, their nothing own is wrong bank with that. account? No, nothing is wrong with that. Because and here's yet the thing. still benefit from the traditional gender role of being taken care of and protected. Because the thing is that most women are looking for a traditional man, mm-hmm. but they are constantly evolving as women so if you are looking for a traditional man mo- a man is going to be looking for a traditional woman mm-hmm. it only so you're makes saying neanderthals sense. to neanderthals i don't know why in not so that. not because, not so, not so simplified because shadow said said no. women are constantly evolving so it's a case like so a man is stuck here while women are here and okay you know All right. why men can't reach here so let's let's look at the values what is it that what is it that a woman is looking for in a man and what is it that a man is looking for in a woman a woman is looking for a man to provide to put the four p's and a man is looking for the four f's in a woman um um, a woman is looking for a man who provide protect procreate and preside preside over the affairs of the relationship right and a man is looking for the four f's a woman who is front <laughs> sorry i had to jump you know, you know, you know I, would, I would be disappointed if that wasn't one of the 
four Fs. I would be. I would not, be, I would, not, I would not be quite jazz. <laughs> maybe it may be a subset of one of the four, but what? no, it's not. So, I'm. <laughs> Yeah, welcome back, Jobs. A, a man is it's looking for a woman. Jobs is no different than uh, <laughs> no, single. I've always Jams. appreciated Jobs' Jab, Jab <laughs> sense of humor. You know? I'll give her that. What's the F shadow? Right, so a man is looking for a woman that is fit, mm-hmm. yeah. fertile, mm-hmm. yeah. feminine, and faithful. Yeah, that's nice. it. And, and the thing is that, <laughs> but she's but, fertile. We don't know that much. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and, and the thing is that uh, in the God. West, in the West, it's 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 difficult to find feminine women. That's one of the issues. But they are there, but it's a child? very small. It's a very small grouping. Whose Sorry? fault is that? When you guys went off to war and we had to go in the workforce, or when you just decide to when in a on the side to be unemployable well, the thing is that women <laughs> we are like take care of ourselves no but so it's because of feminism though because of feminism yes. will become unemployable no 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 i'm not speaking about the unemployment you say why mm-hmm. is it the way it is remember you know feminism is currently in its fourth wave mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. the first two waves of feminism were great mm-hmm. because the thing is that it allowed women certain civil rights mm-hmm. that they were entitled to mm-hmm. you know the, the right to vote, the right to have a voice, mm-hmm. the right to work, so on and so on. My own bank account. Right? But but then now things are kinda, you know, at a at a dismal level now. Yeah, we're, like we're, we're, them we're drive. The, you know, you 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 you're, you're fighting for things which which don't even make sense. She right? Never and and then and then they are saying it's equality, it's equality, it's equality. And I'm like, no, what it is is that a lot of women are pushing for is selective equality they want equality when it suits them and when it doesn't suit them then it's an issue yeah no i mean i mean correct me if i'm wrong right because for example i don't know why you're like yeah no no true but in (laughs) what way in what way are we selective when with the equality okay so you say you want equality Mm -hmm. right yeah look at this and I'm I'm gonna take it very simple. When you go to an event, mm-hmm. uh, ladies enter free. Yeah. Men have to pay. Yeah. Is that equality? Of course. How? That's that's party math. Anyway, girl, <laughs> man, one girl will come to five man. <laughs> That's party math. I know that <laughs> shit. One girl equal five man. Transpose the situation. Men get in for free and women have to pay. Ain't nobody showing up. Anyone <laughs> <laughs> you know say, anyone you know say, <laughs> you see that? Man will show up. So where's the equality? Man will okay. show up. Okay, and, and look Wait, at this. I, so I'm no, trying to use man, very basic up, examples. I'm gonna use That's very money, money, love, right. Man. I'm using basic <laughs> examples. I really so up, man. <laughs> you go to the club and because you are Ari, mm. they let you in for free. Mm-hmm. You think that is fair to other women who have to pay? Let me talk about equality, man. Me talk about it. Why? Since I since mean, you want equality, the, why don't you say no, 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 no. To give me yes, access. but since you want equality, but I was willing to pay. So if you want equality, why did why don't you say no, sir? It's okay. I'm not going in. I will stay and pay like all the women. Why don't you do that? Nah, bro. Well, you know, God give you an opportunity, and I oh, feel like you, you can't. I really don't think the Lord had anything to do with Shout it. Out, it's it's the same thing like when I, when I bring up the Titanic example, in regards to the the, the the letting the women and the children go on the lifeboats while leaving the men to die. Yes, we have certain biological, um, physical advantages over women, of course, but in that scenario what 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 is that going to do is that going to help us to fend off the coal the the the, the sharks what initially it was if meant it's... for rich people still you know so that, yeah but then, then that was rich the main people thing. of course because it was first it was the rich the rich the rich the rich women get off first no it's women and children first and the reason yeah. why but then it was rich women it was yes primary right rich so women. they do it by tear but the reason why it's women and children first is because Generally, when you are faced with a high-risk situation, mm-hmm. women and children tend to 
or have a tendency to behave in erratic manner. Yeah. That's so true. what you want to do is you, you want to minimize <laughs> the threat of something that. going bad. So what you do is let's take off the children, let's take off the women. And they might cry and right. and, and 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 then we can leave the men. Because what happens is this. Gen you see, women are naturally predispositioned for safety. Because the truth is that when you are faced with a high risk situation, a woman will always choose safety over adversity. Yeah, damn right. You know, yeah, if, so. if if she's confronted with something and she don't have to fight, she'll flee. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> In most cases. Right? Right. As I said, I'm not speaking for all, but yeah, I'm just saying that you are biologically yeah, pre says, like, predispositioned. Oh. That <laughs> right. You know you have them girl. Yeah. You? So, so, so that is something. And another thing, speaking of, speaking of adversity and safety, this is one of the reasons why men, and this is not a misogynistic statement, mm. this is one of the reasons why men tend to excel in terms of achievement, mm. in, in terms of certain um, <laughs> global achievement. Because what happens is this, is um let me make sure i gather my thought because what what happens for example is if we were to go back in time and say we all just living on this little island you think women would be like okay tell you what let us just jump on this little piece of log we don't know what what is happening beyond the horizon but let's just jump on this little piece of log and go over there and see what is happening let us try and explore and see you think women would do that? Yeah. No. No. <laughs> no, they're not going to do that. They're no, going no. to stay right there in the safety of their environment because they understand once you move out of the comfort mm -hmm. of that, the possibility exists that you may face some level of adversity. Yeah. And the thing is that... I the, would go to this, the, 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 the place, edge. but yeah, but not go in land like let's not go further in land that is yes. why that is why the world uh, and as again i said you know i'm just speaking from a um a balanced perspective it's not about misogyny or any of that stuff but that is the reason why men tend to conquer the world because two things men don't men 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 are about adversity and men are not about fairness mm -hmm. because if if we were about fairness we wouldn't conquer the world we got up and said, listen, let's jump on a boat and we go across there. And we saw some people, uh, they, they were living peacefully, they didn't trouble us. Those are white people, Shadow. It doesn't <laughs> matter who it was. It, it, it doesn't matter, right? You know that white people are the only people that enslave people, right? <laughs> so that 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 thought doesn't apply to those white people. Right, but the point They I, were the only ones that went about it bar in a barbaric sense. No, 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 Almost every, almost every race of people were enslaved at some point in time. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's true. Some either by, by their, their own, own yeah. yeah, or either by their but own. Then, but then, in a way, but okay, finish your point. No, saying, all nations no, of people, like, no, all race working. of people, were enslaved at some point in time, either by their own or by other races. Yeah, mm -hmm. but but we know that there was slavery be before Columbus came. Because it was a way of working off your debt. So you work for payoff. I'm going to be slave to Javi for five years for payoff. She giving me five logs to build up my yard. And no, it's but progressed even before that, over I mean, time. I mean, that the Egyptians, there was slavery with the Egyptians. True, true. There true. was slavery in Rome. True. <laughs> I mean, true. There, I mean, pretty much, as I said, almost every... Yeah. Almost every... But um, when I said barbaric, it's like in the sense that, yeah, they, they conquered the land the, the land where they're at mm -hmm. i think when i when i what for what i'm saying i feel like christopher columbus decided that he was going to expand the slavery and like just saying like we're going to subjugate this people forever it feel like to this to this barbaric gruesome well, they conquered the Violence. new world and they realized that they needed, I mean, they conquered the new world and realizes that they needed a labor force. Mm -hmm. And they went over and said, they're going to get these people and come and do it. And, it was and I think barbaric. slavery, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, slavery in West Africa was actually started by the Portuguese. Yeah. yeah. Right. 
it wasn't the Spanish. Yeah. Yeah, it was, yes. Yeah, it was right. Just... Yeah. <laughs> but look at us point, remembering yeah, our look, history. Look at us. Look at us. <laughs> but to your point though, um, before we go up on this small tangent, yeah. right? What would I that word again? Marriage. Go up on a tangent. Go up on a tangent. Women and equality. Yeah. I can't remember. What, what, what All right. Well, there's so many points equality. about women and selective so equality. So you were saying that, um, you know, with the letting in for free. Okay. That's the. Point. And I was just yeah. citing these as very simplified examples. I mean, mm. you you can look into, to 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 other things like you know, um. Look at paternity fraud. Jamaica has has the highest, the second highest rate of paternity fraud in the world. <laughs> Why is that not a crime? It, it is a crime. It's, it's fraud. A crime. It is. A crime. I'm Ari. just trying to make the best decisions for my <laughs> no, child. No, no, no. Let me show you why it is a crime. Be- why it is a crime? Because one, it is, it is financial slavery. Mm. You financially enslave a man to pay you for eighteen to twenty-one years for a child that is not his. Is know. there is there any such <laughs> system in which men I can do mean that it. to women? No. No. And if a man if a man doesn't if a man doesn't yeah, own up to the child that he has with a woman. He basically will be taken to task, mm. litigated, and 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 chances are imprisoned. Where is the equality in that? And there is you can't charge a woman for that. And remember, as I said, Jamaica has the second highest rate of paternity fraud. Remember, there was an institution the other day, a company that did some paternity tests, and they said based on the results that returned, seventy percent of the results show that the men were not the actual father of those children. Yeah, but you should have asked for for a DNA test. I think someone engaging you in we're a relationship, they, 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 yes. the least not they could ask. Not my didn't ask for it. Like natural you should have asked for the guarantee. You know, it's like going to court that, and you know, not asking Ari, for a warranty. If you Ari, have a child, ask for the guarantee. It, it, Ari, Ari, you are a learned individual. Stop <laughs> this! Stop this nonsense behavior. Ask for the warranty. Oh, Ask for the right? guarantee. And I'm just showing you. And and what? There, there is no recourse for men. None. None. You pay for the child, and that's it. You can sue. You can sue. I know of cases. There is no law. I watch Judge Judy. There is no oh, law on the books <laughs> that allow you to recoup. Yeah, but if it's all like, of but those you, earnings, as you said, it's fraud. Lost earnings. As you say, it's fraud. So you, you ask for the money. So why every I other see. form of fraud, there is there are repercussions of it except that. Why? Guess, every other but, male but, fraud, but has money, any, has, whatever it is. The, the, do you know yeah. of any man going, trying to issue a suit and a, and a, like a paternity suit and say, well, you know, I want... I Everything want back my money pay. since yeah, da, 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 da. if men could they would but, but there is no law ever, I, but there is no is fraud, law though, Shadow? It's there the, is it's no fraud. law that allows for that it's outside fraud. of that think about the think about the, the you can go to a civil court it's fraud you you, you file a suit for so there is no proof. law on the books for that what Where's are you going proof? to file for as you said, fraudulent <laughs> something another something another. No, I'm saying I'm saying it's paternity fraud, but you can't. There's no law in the books that allow you to sue for that. Maybe that okay. Maybe right, that should be one. and that is something. Why is it that women are not lobbying for that? To say, listen, men should be treated better. Why is it that women should be allowed to do that to men and get away with scotch free? I just Why? find it funny that Shadow call the other and the video and just say something another something. Another. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but you see, this is this is this is what happens yeah, narrow. Hilarious. You see, <laughs> when you are conversing, can do both. no, uh, when yeah. you you see, here's the thing: women have this tactic, you know, is that when, play a fool. when you are when you are when you are having a conversation yes. and you are you, what and you bring facts to the table. Indeed, what they start to do is they start to emotionally navigate through logic. Indeed. <laughs> Indeed. Guilty. As we know, as we know. <laughs> <laughs> as we know, as we know a certain popular hefty individual to do. Right. But 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 it is what it is. So so all I'm saying is that, you know, when you when you look at the when you look at the emotional impact that these things, you know, um have on men, men don't have any outlet where they can go to 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 speak on these things. You are laughed at, you're ridiculed. We are the we are the men centers around where Ridicule. men can go to 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 get counseling 
and and to you know and to be re rehabilitated and all of these things there are none no shadow these things that you're talking about they seem so foreign to me it's almost yes. like you're speaking alien right. mm -hmm. yeah. what there's there's none Ari. You know There's what happens, none. Shadow? You know what tends to happen? The men get ridiculed, as I said, they get embarrassed, they get made fun of. I buy mostly buy a friend and Pierre still in on the guard bar. And a, no, and it's on a, usually on a bar chat these and, and, and your friend them laugh Because you know what the woman would say? Whatever. Or is it that you're 30 and you still live with your parents and you still live with your mom and all these things, while women don't get chastised for those things? Well, men do. Uh, is is uno set the standard, you know? Uh, uno, uh, uno, your friend them laugh off for uno, and a friend them laugh off for uno. I'm saying it's more perpetuated by women. How? Because you're, you seen, you're seen as less than a so man. So you're saying you're not an women. ideal mate if you don't yes. have a kid? If and if you're living with but your mother. That, that, I don't think that's fair across the spectrum, mm -hmm. because I feel like most men, mo the, like, oh, you don't have a kid? He's like, oh, yeah. like I can be the first. You're, you're unattached. You're uninvolved. Perfect. But you still live with your me. mom, though. Exactly. <laughs> Even though the kid thing, and Shadow can um, correct me if I'm wrong here. The kid thing is usually seen as more of a thing to prove the value of a woman. So when we get more made fun of, um, made more fun of for that, because I wish somebody that is sense. one of. <laughs> one of the things that of course one of the, the four p's that shadow mentioned you know procreate mm -hmm. so when you're unable to as a woman now you're seen in the eyes of 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 society at least in certain society as lesser than right yeah well i think we've taken steps towards that just just like just small uh, and then there incremental, is and then there's the gender battle again you know mm. oh um in the workplace there's there's that whole situation again Mm. Where, you know, I saw an article the other day where they were saying, you know, oh, we need to, I think, I don't remember what it was. And they, they were speaking to the fact of we need to do more in the workplace to make sure women are given equal opportunities. And I'm like, are we living in the same world? <laughs> no, seriously, are we living in the same world? Break that down, Shara. A study done in 2015 by the international labor labor organization showed that jamaica had the most women in managerial positions yeah, 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 in yeah. the workforce yeah. the most in the world i remember that i have women out here in the western about, hemisphere about mm -hmm. more than the us more mm -hmm. than the uk and any other country in the western hemisphere jamaica yeah because we have we we wow. occupy the university we have first and second degree. more women are in university yeah. than men yeah. facts right so then the thing is that where is the inequality where then here's the thing then maybe there's on like, a pay scale we okay so okay so the pay scale cool mm. so here is the fix of course here's the fix right so um there is nara and there's ari yeah and the two of you are the founders of the fix right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I figure that you are equal partners. No. Hang on. So <laughs> are, is it 50-50 shares? No. Like, what is hang on. No. So from? All right. Hang on. Hang on. Right, on, on. Hang on, Ari. See, it's okay. All right. You emotional. see? You're emotionally navigating yeah. your way through logic. So, yeah, right now. So you are co-owners of, right you co of the brand. Yes. Yeah. Right? Which means it's 50% a piece, right? No. No? No. No, it's not? No, okay. it's not. All right. So based on the current situation, <laughs> all right, calm down, Harry. Calm down. <laughs> so based on the current situation, you think based on the revenue generated, you deserve to get no, more no, than not, him? Ask the real let's, no, hang on. Let's hang ask on. the real no, questions hang on. here. Let's hang not on. go into let's that. Let's no, ask no, no. We are going to go into this. Allowed. No, because what I'm trying let's to show. This serve is based off like no. feelings and, and I, whatever. No. Yeah. And what I'm getting into, Yo, Ari, I'm just trying to show you the equality. Yo, the people I'm, them think so. we ask I'm speaking questions. about the equality you know. does. <laughs> so this is this is an actual workplace so the two of you are it. equal in terms of you both own the brand you yeah. both have equal shares and I'm asking you if you if you are off the view that you should get equal pay you put not Tina, is that yes okay <laughs> on what is the basis of equal pay we do the same work right so because you both own the brand and you are 
So you both co-owners and co-hosts. Yeah, me leave off a single. Hang on, no. I, I right. Know, right. No, hang oh, on, no, hang on. Me leave off a single. So you deserve equal pay. Me leave off a single. Yes. So it's here's the right thing. Just <laughs> <laughs> yes. In terms of the technical, uh, in terms uh, of, I mean, shout out to to um, Jervis, of who's course. off camera. He works like a slave for this show. Um, <laughs> we. <laughs> oh, you talk to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no, but but big up Jervis. Jervis right. Right. I'm playing. <laughs> big up Jervis. Right. Oh, so, HR. Right. So the point I'm making is this. Oh God. You are a host, mm-hmm. Ari. Nara is a host. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. You assist with the setup. Nara assists with the setup. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Nara edits the show. Yes. Deals with all the metrics for the show. Mm-hmm. Himself and Jervis deal with all the technical um, related matters. I input for the show. I said yes, that's a good idea. Yes, that's a good idea. Yeah. No, but he actually does the work. No, but my my saying yes is a good idea. No, no, no. Sitting is, and is throwing equal, in equal. <laughs> sitting there and throwing in an happen. occasional <laughs> point. Help! Help! <laughs> Right. You go so, drown. So based on the volume of work that, and I'm not even getting into the rest of it. So based on the uh, volume yeah. of work that Nara does, you are still on okay. the view that you so, deserve equal pay. Well, let me just say, like I work two jobs. Okay. No, that is independent so, of this. So I give my all in both aspects. Okay. So I, I wherever I need it, this, I fill the gap. Ari, the second job has nothing to do with the first, though. We yes. are speaking about this job. So the point I'm making is that even though you have equal shares and your equal partner, he does more work. And based on that, he deserves more pay. But I do more work overall. But and you want idea. But that has nothing to do with this. <laughs> Again, you are emotionally idea. navigating the oh, way. It was my yeah, idea. It was category. my idea. <laughs> I should be paid for intellectual property plus. You the are being work. paid for that. But the point I'm making is that. Even though you have the more. same position and you you are you are, you are equally own the company, he does more work and and based on that he deserves here, more here, pay. Here he does more but, work. Here but I evening, do more work overall. But even in a lot of the companies, you know, people like oh we have the same job. Like if a bank teller, it's, let's look at a bank. If you have a bank teller, if you have two bank tellers, one is there working and he's more versed, and another one comes in, she has the same job. But this one, based on the level of experience and expertise that he brings to the table, you can't pay them, even though they have the same job and the same position. So you always have to you have to look at the other little intricacies. Shadow, as you talk about the women and their dominance in our local um, job space, <laughs> I have been privy to knowledge where in hiring employees, the female workers involved, at least in charge, would go to they would tend to want to hire more females over men even if th- those men are more qualified than the women and that and and what but that, that no, I, no 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 but that I, that is that's been going on for years with men it's a boys club we've all know about this secret non-secret boys club come on no but then why would you come do on. that the thing is that what but, my, but my belief no too? my belief is Everybody should be afforded equal opportunity, indeed. But so. the e- the outcome can't be the same. True. Mm-hmm. The outcome must be based on your skill set. Uh-huh. The thing is that if there's if there are twenty jobs, okay, then what you do is you allow everybody to apply. And what happens if the twenty women are more qualified, hire them. Mm-hmm. But if the twenty men are qualified, hire them. Mm-hmm. Why is it you are going to go? Okay, I am going to hire. 15 men even though it's 20 men that are qualified the highest qualified i'm going to hire 15 men and then i'm going to hire these five women who are not as qualified just because i'm trying to hire women no, mm-hmm. what you are no, doing is you're no, short then, no what you're no, doing mm-mm. is you're short changing no, i don't i disagree with him with that because can i, can I finish my point <laughs> I, I mean i'm asking can i finish my point right Right, right. What you are doing is you are shortchanging. No, I'm not going to disagree with you, Shadow. You are shortchanging. <laughs> As the podcast starts. Right. <laughs> what you are doing is you are shortchanging uh-huh. the company. 
because instead of getting the most skilled workers, mm -hmm. you are hiring people based on gender who are not as skillful. So then the company is not performing at its optimum. Then you have I mean, bag correct of, me if I'm wrong. Bag of women in the workplace. Does that, bag of doesn't that make logic? I mean, the point things. of a company is you want to make your workers as as efficient as possible so mm. that you can get the most out of the company. Right. So why would you not hire the best set of workers? Mm. Exactly. Regardless of gender. I'm just asking though, Ari. All so right, no. so now you can you can buy okay. rip my head off now. <laughs> shut up. I, I don't want no uh, shut up be the rift between us and all these things because it looks like a data going. But you know, I always have a talk, a certain talk with Ari in terms of who is the draw. You see me? Who is that entity that gets the most, you know, reaction out of people? Who value the, the, the most? So even in regards to UFC, I bring up this example all the time. When R Ronda Rosie, she was the draw in UFC. She's a female. Right. But she's the draw. She's who the people then pay to see. Right? Mm -hmm. So it wasn't about uh, any equality there because she shot at her. I just goes to show that yo, it, 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 gender shouldn't matter. It, 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 it all comes down to what do you bring to the table in, in regards to if people pay to see you or pay to watch you or what is your value? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Who's the jaw of the fix? Jabby. <laughs> <laughs> to certain people, I'm sure. Okay, and I'm, I'm really people, just Ari joking. is the draw. I'm joking. But Ari, <laughs> let's just be real here. When may I go, who do people recognize? Fix boss. <laughs> I don't set the thing. I don't set it that way. It's just so it go. Yo, Nari. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's no, it's Naruto. Naruto. It's Naruto no. It's Naruto no. Wow. Thanks to my friend. Yes. <laughs> it's not dancing a rebel. No, but the point I'm making is that I mean, Ari, as I said, I'm, and I'm not trying to don't touch me. <laughs> I'm not trying to beat up on you. I'm I'm simply yeah, figuring no, no, but no, yeah, but no. Make sure break no, us no apart. the reason why I don't believe in that, well, because <laughs> right. I, I agree that tokenism don't make no sense. No, like, it does it, not. It makes no sense, and it kind of in a way under under <clears throat> in a in a weird way this it this. And disrespects everybody in in that in that in that position. But why? But why I think that well, why we can break it up, we we know how important diversity is in any situation. Because even in the family, we all agree that a mother and not father in all is, situations a mother and father is 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 important is important for the, the unit the and it's dynamics, the diversity. Right. Because what a woman do, a man can do, and what a man do woman can do uh, right uh, uh, and i believe that if we can break it up so if you have a 20 if you have 20 position of like leadership top management and if you give 50 men all right fine why we can we can give five women not just not solely based on it but if you think if men sometimes in a position can look and say well okay well all right well she's 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 weak in this area but she has potential to do that so let's just bring her on and strengthen those those weaknesses and 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 improve on the strengths like why and that would be to me greater and a more evolution of what it can be and what it should be in the society where it's not just based on tokenism but a pace of potential and say well okay this person is great and she has other assets and values i'm sure that the men probably would be deficient in which is why and we can come together and, and which and is why i'm be saying a more Ari, effective super which group. is why which which is why my point is everyone deserves equal opportunity, opportunity yeah right are but not on. equal outcome indeed fair because i was going to bring fair. up the example and i didn't well people might see it as deflecting but it's you not you can put down to like yeah you get the cup okay <laughs> all right Jones, you, can, you can hold back here <laughs> he's happy like, what I, you say look at look at look how we deviated because all of this was just me it's just saying, from um, from javi's wedding javi, you know but, i mean javi I'm congratulations javi. again <laughs> Yes, I reached the party. <laughs> Congratulations. Yes. Ten the days point, later. The point I was going to make <laughs> is that them things that go on while you are talking about, you know, like even let's we, we could go back to sports. So you have the NBA, you have women complaining. All right. We they don't have play. we play basketball too. We can do yeah, our thing. And the football of them. We create WNBA. <laughs> you know what I mean? 
But don't go screaming for equal pay when the people them don't watch you. They don't watch you, no. Mm-hmm. Uno don't bring the same value of entertainment that the men do in the sport. Mm-hmm. So do not complain about but equal then the, pay. But the equal, then the equal opportunity, though, are we giving the women even of viewing, like viewing yes. opportunity to yes. see if there is... Them games, there, get, there them there games get, get, get broadcasted on the same networks. Mm-hmm. Them get sponsors. Them get sponsors. What not do with it? The people them now watch. Boring. But but why? But <laughs> coming from a woman, <laughs> uno can dog. I'm just saying, like uno we, not as do athletic. We give, do we give not we, as entertaining? Do There's we give the, the women team a chance to, to to show that? Because you say broadcast, but like I mean, the time is the time different. Do them restrict it? No. All them something there? No. Mm-mm. It's no. the same. It's I've never same. seen. I've never seen a WNBA. Because you're not watching. <laughs> no, 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 no. I've never seen it. Like I know, I know. It it, it would have show on ABC, ESPN, TNT. Then go on. Eh? Then go on. I've never seen it. But you, because you don't, don't watch. Want that's to the point. I'm telling you, I don't see. I, I don't see. I don't see the NBA games on you're not three. Looking for it. You, I see them. I don't watch them, but I see them in the All right. slot. Here, here's but here. why would you? But why you not watching? <laughs> because it's boring. Have you ever watched exactly. it? Them promote the, Have the you ever watched mail? it? No, no. But let's let's be real here. When something doesn't have the same value as as when the WNBA don't have don't care the same value, don't care the same ratings. As the NBA, you really think that the marketing budget I got as much for them when them say, say yo, it not worth as much for putting a desk. Huh? Them need a new strategy, like they need for promote it more, for get more viewers there. Shadow, I mean, it's it's Shadow, just we it's, had a we had right. a conversation. It's just business. Can do too. <laughs> right, it's just business. <laughs> right, yes. <laughs> no, it's just business. Though. But as I said, Ari, we love you all, and and men and women of are course. are basically. Um, just I, two sides but of the same I personally point. don't think that we're equal. Right. I really don't. I personally don't. And I don't think that women are better. No, that's some lame shit. But mm. I don't believe that we're equal. So it's just that I this... do believe that you know there there are some things that men will do better, and they deserve right as that I said, they're paid for that. And I do believe that we do some things better, and we deserve a favor. But for anything that is not like a specific skill set or relies solely on the male or female genetic. Mm. I feel like in position, like in the banking sector, pretty or anything that have to do with administrative or um, desk job, for want of a better term, like we can be equally paid for that because it requires the same level of um, knowledge. You have to go to school and gain the, gain gain the same knowledge to 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 be in that position. And I think based on that alone, we should be get we should get equal pay. One of the one of the reasons why there's a disparity in the pay, you know, based on what y'all say, you know, is is because of the choices y'all make. It's not us. Women get up when you look in universities, women are the ones who decide and you look at the faculties, look in business, early childhood, um STEM. F- finances and all of that stuff. It's 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 a lot of women are into that. Oh, those, men, men tend into to STEM. get into things like more into engineering, yeah. um, Computer, STEM, yeah. and computing yeah. and and other high risk job mm-hmm. because men understand those jobs are high risk, but they also pay more mm-hmm. because look at this: if you have two jobs, right? It's the same job, you know, the same exact job. The only difference is this: one, you have to work outside. And one, you get to stay in an air-conditioned office. And the one in the air-conditioned office pays a little less. Which one would you choose? All right, let's, let's, let's put it in the term of a cop. Okay, you have a desk job. You have a desk cop. You have don't have to be a cop. No, no I'm any just, job. I, I like to look at it in that No, no, no. Sense. Any job. In it's the same sense. job. It's the same job. Mm-hmm. Right? You do the exact same thing. The only difference is... One, you work outside. One, you work inside. The but, one that is inside where you get air conditioned, mm-hmm. you are paid a little less. Okay. Which one of the two are you going to take? Outside. Ari? Maybe take outside. I love money. And, uh, and again, if it's... If it's Most if it, women are not going to take outside jobs. Most women are not going to I'm want to be out there. Like they're not. Because they know why. They they're not going to be want to... Right. Because they have a man who will provide them anyway. Right. Speak no, the no, truth. No, stop the bullshit, Would you no, really man. work out in the sun versus working in mm-hmm. air condition for a little less as a woman? No, my eczema got up. So. 
Yes, you're right. Yes, you're right. So, you, so the point I'm making is that <laughs> another thing as well, they're way more right. agreeable. Right. Mm-hmm. Women are more agreeable. Negotiating salaries right. and all these things. Right. I, I Generally, see. people who are who are more agreeable are paid less. Men are less agreeable, so that's why we tend to. <laughs> You know, tend I bring to get this more. up because he knows it's a sore point for me. Like, you no, know. No, it's true, it's though. But that's true. true. So I'm just, I'm just showing it. It's, 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 just, part yeah, of the, yeah, it's just part of the thing. But anyway, let's... We, I think we antagonize them enough on this. So uh, true. Let's, you know let's, I mean? let's speak <laughs> on something else. gender stuff. <laughs> right. Let's, let's go to yeah, happy times. This, huh? Happy times. Yes, man. Yo, this all started from congratulating Javina Star. <laughs> nice congratulations, oh, guys. Great message. After she didn't invite me, Star, this... Pussy. <laughs> shut up. So shut up. Like, swerve it. No, 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 no. We're swerving. Yeah, I like where we went, though. I like where I like the no, conversation. No, it's good. And it it just good. ask cool. one question and then. And, 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 and people. And be, before right. I can just. Bo- young people. Enough time we have them conversation moments. Right. You didn't right. even know. You're this house. I like and cool. Ari reacts the same right way the all the time. All the time. <laughs> Vex. I said, my mom up with him. Fucks and logic. Whatever. I'm just doing things my way. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Every man, so I said, always go right. for real. Yeah. And like, the, I run up a little. Yeah. But right. then just get. <laughs> yeah. And I got, sh- I run up a little, you know, a little, yeah, a little, pew, pew, yeah, a little pew, pew. pew. And then, uh, Shadow, I know, enjoys it. Right. No, it's uh, true. Yeah. And, and appreciate, appreciate modern day marriage. Here's a little fact about marriage before we switch subject. Yeah. Um, <laughs> marriages, oh, actually, as we know it in the modern day, actually started in the 18th, modern day marriage, I'm saying, not just marriage, mm-hmm. modern day marriage actually started in the 18th century as a forging of empire and it, and it was it was polygamous right then in the 16th century the church decided <laughs> to change that mm. and make it monogamous and the reason no. is because when a rich man died <laughs> and he had multiple wives the church would get less of his riches mm. so then they decided to make it monogamous so when he died, they would get more of his money. Oh, it was never, it was never about the woman. It was always about the church trying to get more. Of and and then version. people only started to marry for love in the 18th century. Don't make scatter. Before that, it was just <laughs> before that, it literally was just about alliance, mm. power. Yeah, of course. That's what we right. that's power what and influence. That's all it was. Wealth. Yeah and power mm-hmm. same Keeping right. the collection. so for the people who is like oh marriage Pure. is all about it was never on the premise of love people mm-hmm. only started to marry for love in the 18th century that's true i remember saying right. of course the british um empire. empire it was all about power right to, so much so that they would inbreed to keep that power within with the pure. bloodline and keep it pure and all these things right so, so yeah congrats what, just <laughs> so what <laughs> so <Thanks> what <again>. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I guess we just there big ups. We're gonna just go through the big up there, man. Yeah, big up Jervis. Yesterday was his birthday. Oh, shout out to Jervis. Video boss. <laughs> <laughs> Video boss. Video okay, boss. Mess up Jervis. Um, happy belated birthday also to the original Danzel Queen Carly. Danzel Queen Carly. Her birthday was May first. Mm-hmm. Shout out Carly. I also wanted to big up the the taxi operator. Who was missing since May first and was rescued from a pit in in, yeah. this, in Jones of Air, Avenue Spanish Town. area, Spanish Town. Big you up! I don't know how you survived that. How much days? I'm saying was in there. I think it was two, two days, days, two two and a half yeah. days. Yeah. The hole was about what 50, 55 feet deep. Wow. Wow. Luckily, it didn't rain heavily. Wow. It probably did. It was raining for the past couple of days. Literally. Yeah, it rained. If, yeah, because it was raining from yeah, yeah, yeah. Thursday straight back to. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Exactly. Yeah, short. This is one of them things that could have shown a documentary like um 24. <laughs> I'm over there, uh, Mini magazine, yeah. 48 hours. Yeah, 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 Friday. Yeah, yeah. I watch that every Friday. Dateline Sunday. and 48 hours. Yeah. Um, Nathan Douglas. Yeah, he's a Nathan seventeen Douglas. year old that he's gone viral on Instagram um, and I guess on TikTok. Because he's oh. a seventeen year old young man working on a construction site. Mm-hmm. And he's yes, doing that. all that in, in in to fund university. His school, yeah. Mm-hmm. So I just want to say a special big up to him because 
he's choosing to go on the right path mm -hmm. and not turning to criminality, which so many people use as an excuse. Indeed, so only if we big up them to cause terror. Anymore. So big, big up, up Nathan. How much woman would have done this? If if we find a sugar daddy, that's that's the same. I mean, when you get more money anyway, so just split it up. That's why you get more money. Yeah, right? you, you make me sick. That's why that's why Shadow was innocent saying that's why we get, he, men are paid more because they're not for nine women. No woman. Hmm. So. I, I never quite said that, but <laughs> that's what I heard. I'm not <laughs> words into his that's what I heard. Do not put <laughs> words into the words, boss. Mo. So a seventeen year old will, will find a sugar daddy. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. No, the difference is because <laughs> <laughs> men shall I go break this down? No, men <laughs> uh -huh. you see men start from the base mm. in life men start from the base and women start from the top mm. because as a man like they say women are born men are made and the reason why why that is so is because as a man you have to build yourself mm. and build yourself to a point where you become a man and you become you you you, you are desired by a woman Right. So generally what happens, that is why a man tends to be to come into his peak at between the ages of 40 and 55, mm -hmm. because at that age, he... want to be shut up. Yeah, you know, so, you know, so I showed them, you know, so I showed them all you, that you. Uh, shut up for those dumb kids, you know. <laughs> right. So as I was saying, nice one, Ar nice one, Ar <laughs> So as I was saying, men come into men men pretty much come into their own between the ages of i would say 40 to 55 mm. right because at that age one you would have um gotten a certain level of experience you would you would have acquired a certain level of resources and you would have matured to a particular level and understand a lot of things about life right while a woman her best years are generally between, and yes, I know people are going to take me to task on this. It's fine. A woman's best years is generally between 18 and 25. Best years? Best <laughs> years. between and, 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 and then there are a few which are outliers. They'll go to 30. Of right. As always no, right. here is the logic. Here's the logic. A woman looks her absolute best between the ages of 18 and 25 that is when she's like the prettiest the sexiest um everybody shooting the shot everybody wants her don't make these celebrities fool it right yeah. and think about it generally between the ages so of 18 the 18 and 20 and 30 is when you find that you are the that's like the best of you as a woman in terms of you know um your look and all of these things because what happened, you know, the, the dynamic is this. Money is attracted to beauty. Mm. That is why, you see, younger women tend to want older men. Because the thing is that women, young, young women don't want men their own age. Because if you are 20, you don't want a 20-year-old guy. Because in your book, you're like, he don't have any money. He don't have no experience. He's immature. He can't do anything for me. And oh, we all know how much. And what you're areas. looking for, so what you're looking for, you would find desirable in an older man who has more resources, more mm. experience, more mature, and understands True life. True that. Right. So what happens that he has power and, and you have the beauty. So power is attracted to beauty so, and vice versa. So that's why the high school girl in back in the day they used to go for the doctor then. Mm. <laughs> Makes sense Makes now. Sense. <laughs> You Good. see, because and, and, and another thing is that men, men use power to gain access to sex mm -hmm. and women use sex to, to gain, gain access, access to, to power. power. Mm. So you see the dynamic? So you're saying that Harvey Weinstein is innocent? Oh, dear Lord. Yo, why are why you doing this, Aaron? Why are you trying this trash? <laughs> Again, here we go. She is emotionally <laughs> navigating for, around yeah, I mean, <laughs> through a situation. <laughs> Just, I'm just saying, like, from taking, your talks, taking these in, low blows from you're one saying Harvey too, Weinstein just was just argument, no, I'm, I, no, I'm just saying. Like and men, oh, and, 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 and let me give a little yeah, advice to, to men. Because, you know, the thing is that, <laughs> <That's> clever, <wasn't laughs> it? the thing is that Listen we don't, we don't, advice. yeah, we don't know. <laughs> no, this is, this is for all the, this is for all the young men. Men, oh, this is how it works. 
um, <laughs> if you want to know how to date, yeah, Shade, you don't huh? see them style thing. Eh? <laughs> no. Style thing. Eh? Middle age, middle age. No, no, no. If if you want to know don't how to date, to our wedding, I know Shade style, my pam 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 sure. So so here's the thing, Ari. This is how you know. For men to know what age range to date women is there's a formula and the formula mm-hmm. is 2x um no 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 <laughs> whatever your age is as a man you need to divide that by divide that by right. two right <clears throat> so it's half of your age and then add seven let me mash up with something All right so basically a man who is 40 should date a woman who is 27 mm. Nah. Shut up. Ota just <laughs> set him, him on screen. No, 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 no. I'm just, I'm just, I, because yeah, I mean, think about it. So your, ideal, your ID woman age is 22? Yo, stop that. <laughs> right. So, right. Yo, stop that. <laughs> and, and that's stop it. That. Because you see, and one of, one of the things is, one of the things is why it's important as a woman to date an older man outside of what I told you about the experience and all of that is that you are younger and, 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 Men are physical creatures. We all we, we like beauty. So if you are always younger, then it, it makes you constantly more desirable to him than you being an older whim, a woman. Like a man, why would a man want to be dating an older woman? A woman, I mean, one of a woman's greatest asset is her beauty. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. Is it not? One off, yeah. Yes. Because mm-hmm. if I'm lying, because w- otherwise the beauty industry wouldn't be as profitable as it as it is. Indeed, so you wouldn't have women. But she, not, she doesn't have to be young to be beautiful. No, I, no, I'm not saying. I'm not saying <laughs> she has to be young to be beautiful. The point of what I'm making is that women always want to be desired, mm. right? And mm-hmm. the thing is that if the man is older, then he always sees her as being younger. And even when women are older, their aim is to appear younger. Younger, right. So not, and and, and yeah, this is a disclaimer. Not that I'm saying that younger. older women are not, are not beautiful. I'm not saying that. Of course. But yeah. I'm just saying the norm is younger women tend to look more beautiful. Mm. That's just the norm. And that is why as women age... Don't make Instagram fool uh, or don't let these celebrities And that is why as women age, they try to do more to look younger. Youthful. Oh, they have the money to buy the best products. They have money to Bodies. do the surge and all these things to appear and to still appear young, basically. <clears throat> Don't make them fool. You know? But we had so, so much to so talk why about. Isn't right? it the other way around, like why Oh no, for look good too. It just seems like a we that the pressure is on us alone to look good. Because Why Why just because be gone, blah 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 blah, blah ugly. No, be- no, 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 no. Because as a woman <laughs> grows no, as a woman grows older looks is less important to her in yes, a man she's too. more concerned about his ability to provide, to provide. and to protect and give money. she's more interested in that than the looks the looks works you know if Narizai. you have that as a that's an asset it works as a fringe benefit of course Narizai, or an additional big, benefit you know in a, when you have fights and like the big bully is like oh and, and the guy is like right. yeah <laughs> no but I am the so, so, so that yeah. is it but men men are physical creatures we mm. get for it for us it's, it's what we see mm-hmm. we see that and we like it for women because remember you know, man is about what a man see for a woman is how you make her feel, feel. that's why a woman will say oh when we meet him initially we never like him but when we get to know him we realize him cool and he's a nice guy mm. big I mean, mistake where, the line <laughs> This tell why, me. This is why. All right. Tell me mar- honestly. So there, marriages, right. You know, you there are two of you on the set. Be. You tell me when Not you get to. Thing. If you are at thirty, for example, both of you at thirty years, would you rather to date a guy who is average looking and is able to provide for you and make sure your well being is in order, mm-hmm. or you'd rather to date a guy who can't necessarily provide but he's awesome looking? At 30, because if I was younger, me that can't see it. Yes, when you're younger, it's all about looks. Indeed, so. But at 30, yeah. 
I don't know, it looks still important to make a sex appeal. Well, you don't have to look good for have sex appeal. But safety and security is more important to you than looks. But suppose me can provide for myself. I'm not necessarily it doesn't matter even if you can provide for yourself a woman still wants a man who is able to do that at least he has the capacity to Indeed. do that because let's be real enough of these women out here they're not doing that for themselves because even if they can provide it for themselves them. which is why women are hypergamous women can provide for themselves but they still want a man who can provide for them yeah which is why even if a, if a woman earning earning capacity is at say let's use a scale so it's one to ten if they're earning power is at seven most times they're not interested in dating men below that seven is either seven and up mm -hmm. but yet they are able to provide for themselves but it's just a thing women are naturally hypergamous they always want to date up marry up they have yeah, a question but I, 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 I wouldn't want to i would feel like i'm settling then if myself oh, well him not look so good but him can provide and no so okay so at the end of the day we just marry him because pretty looks not just pretty looks but, but if he can't provide he enough can, for you it's a possibility that you can find someone who looks good and can provide for the family like what no, i No, ultimately <laughs> that's what you want but the thing is that you have to, you have to, you have to choose she gave him birth to a life <laughs> she have a <laughs> <laughs> gotta think about the kids kids future look you know, the kids have to look so good. what it, so the, okay so the kids <laughs> must look good but starve the or, the, stuff. or the kids can look okay <laughs> they're not gonna starve and be well cared for choose wisely you're not gonna just take up a most women are always going to choose one. security overlooks always not me. Yo, let, okay. me tell, let me tell you a shout out <laughs> Jav believe in a pretty privilege here. Yeah? She believes that from a look, good things will work out itself. You know? That's nonsense. <laughs> that's what, that's true. what Jav no, believe in. No, no, in some no, respects, that is no. true. But me, that's a lie more often than not. It's not. Be, pretty girl. No. Pretty girl and dance. Pretty dance. They never <laughs> suffer. Me no, 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 yeah. I don't know no pretty girl because so them so find that attractive that people find different things attractive but to me that just as I said power is attracted to beauty so men with money <clears> are <throat> going to be attracted to pretty girls and and men are not as judgmental as women in terms of we are not like oh she needed this and she needed that we are like listen she could she could be she could be working as a as a as a server in a restaurant or a cashier and a man is a CEO of a company. If she's hot and he likes her, he will marry her. I'm, 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 women, no, not that, not that girl, women won't do that. Her. But the thing is that they will have a lot more reservations. <laughs> she's going to be the side chick. Right. Shadow. Women would have a lot more reservations. She'd be like, I'm a CEO and he's just a, a cashier. And I don't know. Mm, yes. Him nice, but mm, I, I'm not sure about that. Yeah. Well, if you're a CEO, right. then find something good man do. Like J-Lo <laughs> in those stupid movies. So I'm not saying they won't do it. You know, I'm just saying that they would have more reservations. Yes. Right. I have a question for ask. Is it right for a woman to, 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 for a woman to expect more from a man in a relationship than what she gives define more so you know women have their checklist you know i'm off to do this i'm off to do that i'm off to be this i'm off to 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 this they tend to have a very long list of unrealistic expectations indeed so while when they check their own if they were to check their own checklist they they don't bring much value to the table but because of what society says a man should be they would use that now in their advantage and say oh you're less than a man if you cannot provide this hundred worth list of, of checklists that it, that requires that you need that you require for be with me as a woman so i wonder I, i'm asking if that is fair no it it, it is not but then what happened is society society creates this pedestal culture where women are pedestalized and men and they are seen as the you prize and they are seen as the prize yes, and, and, and men and men must work to attain yes. them yes that's the nonsense prize. yes that's nonsense the prize if you will right it's nonsense <laughs> because the two on right now. <laughs> despite despite the lack of Hate value it. that i bring as an individual i am the prize because that's what society says. And of course, I have 
Because society teaches men how to treat women, but it doesn't teach women how to treat men. It teaches <laughs> women. It, no, sure no, it's true. Society teaches men how to treat women and tell women what to expect from men, but it doesn't teach women how to treat men. Mm. Speak on it. it. I mean, that's, that's I it. I don't agree with that. Did your mom tell you how to treat a woman? Treat a woman? I'm sorry. Sorry. My apologies. Oh. Did your mom teach you how to treat a man? Um, in a way, the wash, cook, clean, and everything. Them one will do and yeah. said. Well, it wasn't my mom because I wasn't going to say it was my mom. It was other people around me because um, my mom was a single parent. Most, most she's women very don't independent, teach their, so their, she, their, 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 she's. I didn't have an example of what it is to like, you know, tr- to how to treat a man per se. It's, it's society and I guess other couples around me that taught me like, oh, yeah, right. Yeah, fee. You know, like cook fee, wash fee, and all of them. Mm. But men, but men, our fathers and our mothers teach us how to treat women. You must do this. You must do that. Have respect. You must do that. Take a road. Buy our flowers. Yeah, do don't maybe that's not your right. generation because in my generation, like me, women always pamper their son, especially and like them love up them son and da 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 da. So you know, the it's man like, get like, dinner in the biggest plate. So I mean I don't know. I leave feel like it at the table. The, the mother will come. I don't have any definite statistics no, when it comes to that. But what I'm saying, I'm like not saying that. Listen, first men I'm not always saying all. seem to be like them, not like you know, pamper the men and like prize them up and oh, like that's my baby and don't make no girl and it's almost I mean cliche as it sounds. It's almost like that's why most men like or most women don't think that a woman is good enough for their why pick me that's why most probably that's why there's always a contention between mm. mother-in-law and daughter-in-law because well i'm the only woman that's good enough no other woman out there is good enough for my son so that's why i'm like well, I, I don't really I, believe in that because based off my experience i don't have any long list of facts to give you but based off my experience and what i know boys are like yes like no and them wash and do all them things that's why most men no aren't really domesticated most men are, yeah. don't really know for spread up the bed or clean or wash or around the house because you them know, teach the girl them for do that. that yes and because men, men are con- and, and i'm not saying so that men, that men should know how to do agree. what is necessary of course but but a man's job is to go out there and to provide mm-hmm. And a woman's job is mm-hmm. to make sure that... I guess it all boils down to the gender roles because... The I family mean, is cared for. Yeah, so the gender roles and the gender dynamic, it all right. boils down to that. Because, as I said, in the society and what I know... I think I think what Shadow was getting at was more on a emotional level. Level. Mm-hmm. Right. In regards to... We are, we are taught, you know, to listen to... And, and of course, treat our respect and <laughs> things up while on and all... Of course, so you know, so much people talk get to, to cater to, but in not. regards to, you know, relating to men and, you know, seeing with him on a, 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 a emotional level, mm-hmm. when I really thought that, well, it's more, the onus is more placed on, on us as men to be able to relate with women on that level. That's what I see. I disagree with that because from what again i don't have any signs or facts or numbers or statistical to boomers to come to treat for it that, that, that's that i see that too why i see that what shadow is talking about so but based on the case so what you're saying is like men have been taught to appease women says so like oh happy wife happy life yeah so you know that to, you uh, to say that but i'm just like mm. is there such a saying you know for 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 women well i know of men i I know of a blowjob a day (laughs) (laughs) sorry (laughs) sorry (laughs) (laughs) Uh, so sorry (laughs) (laughs) sorry please sorry dad (laughs) Uh, i'm just saying i heard something (laughs) years ago years ago Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no job a day <laughs> keeps divorce at me so i mean you know like i just, so i feel like it it different like it different it really is different because women serve men like women are taught to serve men like their their main thing is how to get a man 
you that, know that is true yeah mm-hmm. and like how true. to get a man and in a sense how to keep a but man not how to treat him well then what you mean by treating because how you get him and keeping is treating him no because uh, it's, it's you, a part you, of you the, the things that you mentioned it's a part of Blow the treatment. job mm-hmm. so sex is versus me? sex Cooking. but then society treating it no, society tells know, us while, that you guys aren't emotional beings so when we, we are trying to relate to your so, emotions you know right. now even the whole so that's what i was going to say oh, even so that, shut up yeah. me just, me just, about my puns, but why <laughs> but even so <laughs> men are expected to be husband provider mechanic plumber electrician take out the lover, trash nigga. <laughs> garbage man <laughs> <laughs> Like this is what I'm talking about with the checklist. We expect please. way more. But you don't. You, so you're saying is, there's no expectation of, on women. You're saying that there is no expectation that men have of women. That's what you're trying to say. You know, Make it come on my clothes right. now. Ash. Exactly. Seen, so what? So what is that? But na, but now right, you're speak for you as an enlightened man. But there's several cases out there. If a woman don't do that, she get butter bruised and beat up, and the woman is taught and socialized that she has to stay in this situation. Especially if you have a, a, a wife where you stay home and you come home, you're tired from work and you realize that the place is dirty, the clothes no wash, and a things where you don't need for wear the next day and you not have that because she not do nothing. How would you feel? You expect her to do them something there? Yes. On the premise that she's staying home because exactly. she's staying home in a space that you are making sure is comfortable for her through all the, the, the means, and the provisions and other things. I mean, no, the things you can do is care for the space. The kids. <laughs> the kids wore me out. me when I beat for that. You can't tell me that. Can't tell me that shit. No, sir. I wouldn't have that. People are going to say, oh, well, I take it to your woman, need to do that. They need to wash and all. No, I was saying that. But that's an expectancy. That's an expectancy. In that specific scenario. Mm-hmm. If you are staying no, home, but then even man, when a woman is him provide the means in which you can stay in this house. Even when a woman is working, and she's expected do to do things? that on the weekend. She's expected to take care of home on the weekend when she come home in on the night. She there's an expectancy. Dinner. Personally, I just think I just think they're able to perform sets. sexually and emotionally again. Like there, there's just there's expectancy of I guess everybody in the relationship. <clears throat> everybody. Okay. You were saying, child. So no, no, no. I'm just saying that I think that there are certain basic skill mm. sets that both parties should have. As a mm. man, there are certain basic things you should learn, and mm. as a woman there are certain things you should learn also because it, it, it works, both of them works um, in conjunction with each other. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. why I say I don't think that we're equal. Right. We're like different. But yes. So yeah. I think we have spoken extensively on this gender thing. We have. <laughs> Shadow is a person who has been in the industry for several years and people might not know that so Shadow has a lot of stories. <laughs> within dancer so much so i feel that if shadow were to write a book it would be a very successful book shadow you care to share any of of, of these stories any such stories Um, that people may not know about with you in dancer all right tell you what let me give you a couple of quick stories okay because i know time is off the essay it is um all right let let me so this is 16 years 95 countries later Mm-hmm. And a and a whole humble s- brag, <laughs> and a whole series of stories. <laughs> um, but shout out to um, Steve Urchin. He said he traveled a hundred, a hundred and twenty-five countries. I was yeah. like, that's impressive. Mm-hmm. That's impressive. Yes. So shout out Steve. Big up. <laughs> right. Um, I, I'm only ninety-five. You have a new book out right now on Amazon. Go copy. I the o- I, I think the only continent I've not been to is Antarctica. But yeah. Oh, see? right um but to the stories so i think it was 2019 it was 2019 we were january 2019 bugle's birthday was coming up so you know i was secretly planning a birthday party for him and um call all the guys and say listen we're planning a birthday party for bugle we're just gonna go around here and surprise him and so just kind of you know keep it low-key so we're like all right cool no problem so um the day of the birthday, my phone ring. I see bugle. So I say, all right, I answer the phone. What's up? When I answer the phone, all I hear him says, 
Yo, me hear someone a plan birthday, bang around, you know. But all me a tell some man say, not call him a name, you know. All me a tell some man say, no, no man a carry no any see. A better man carry a tomato, carry a pound of rice, carry some scallion, anything. Right? No, no man a bring no smoke and a drink come round here. <laughs> all right, cool. I hang up before. <laughs> That, Who right. spoiled the birthday surprise? Like, all That's right, not cool. going to be you know, a party I'm like, then. Whoa. <laughs> all right. So anyway, I, I, I message everybody in the group and I'm like, as a bunch of, you know, the anointed family. And I said, listen, Bobo just called me and I don't know what happened or who out there squealing, but the man said, listen, don't bring no drink and smoke. The man saying, you know, anything you can bring, whether onion, a t- piece of thyme, some scallion, Ooh, rice, tarun. chicken, whatever, whatever it is, just bring it. Anyway, told everybody, and um, the following morning, we all arrived there. No, sorry, later in the day, we all arrived there. And everybody brought everything, and then he was like, all right, cool, everybody reached, cool, all right. So, here what we're going to do now. We're going to cook, or we're going to feed the, 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 the street people on his birthday. Mm. So, he's like, People can't deal with it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I want a big time. I see my face. We, we, never, we never planned for this. <laughs> but anyway, so we say, all right, cool. We complied. We did that. We cooked the food, did everything, packed them up in the car. We drove through the city and was delivering food. When we got to New Kingston, um, I remember we were handing out food and one young lady, I saw a young lady, and I said, would you, like a, would you like something to eat? And she, she said, no. And I said, but have you eaten? She said, no. I said, well, it's food and we cooked it and it's good food. We're not trying to poison you or anything. She said, no. I said, all right, cool. I said, what do you want? And she just kind of just stood there. And I'm like, what do you want? And she said, a hug. It's like, a hug? I'm thinking, this... This girl probably don't bathe in like a week or two <laughs> or three. I can't believe he said it. And, I can't and, no, I'm thinking it, it in my head and yeah. I'm like... And, no, I can't believe you said it out loud, no. <laughs> and, 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 and I'm like, God, she's giving off an order and I'm just like... Oh. And I'm like, I'm a nice good clothes and I'm just like, God. <laughs> but I don't know, something in my head just say, hug her. Mm-hmm. Mm. And I said, all right, I complied and gave her a hug. And she just started crying. Mm. And I said, well, me, all right? And she's like, no, I'm not. I, 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 you know, I, I just need love. Wow. Mm. And then basically while I was just there holding her, she, 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 she let me know that apparently um, they had killed a couple of members of our family from a community because some gangsters had, had taken over. And um, mm. they wanted to, they had permit apparently ask her family what side they aligned to and they weren't they were just like listen we're not about that life mm. and they killed her family members and she had to run away Jesus. right and then she ended up on the street just being homeless mm. nothing was wrong with her but she basically just as i said she just mm. was just out there just battling for her life mm. yeah. and for me it was probably one of the most humbling experience because i said to myself look at that you know, we were there planning to rave on all of this and mm-hmm. then this whole thing turned out and then this happened. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, you see, sometimes you see people in these predicaments and we think, you know, we don't know their story. True. True, true, true. And, uh, and for me, it was, a, it was just a very telling moment. Mm. Um, and so I try whenever I see people to not judge them without knowing. So for true. me, that was, that was really one of the, the, the really telling moments for me in dance hall um then there was an an, Wait, an there's one more ask about specifically right there was this then there's one I'm gonna know go on another about. interesting <laughs> one that, was <laughs> we no, went no, no. <laughs> we went to ethiopia mm-hmm. yeah i'm not going to call the the, the artist name because you know I, I don't want to i don't want to um debase them right <laughs> so we went to ethiopia we were there and we're staying in this really nice hotel. Guys are there, whole team, them trash the hotel. Wow. You know, I'm telling you, drink, smoke, everything, chow on liquor, chow with clothes all over, you name it. Food on the ground, they trash the hotel. How much of them were there? Right. Swati? Huh? How many who? 
จิงจะสลิก right um, no so we did a trash the hotel so the next morning when I got in the room because I wasn't in the room I got in the room and I saw it and I was like oh my god they're gonna throw us out and they're gonna throw us out of the hotel yeah right because th- this is unacceptable mm-hmm. right so I was just like you know what um let me try see if I can fix this anyway so um doorbell rang housekeeping so I, I rushed to the door and held the door and I said morning and she said morning and I was like um before I let you inside can I just can I just say something to you all right I know the room is supposed to be a particular way but it is far from what it's supposed to look like I'm asking you nicely can you not report it and I and I will just try to you know appease you for that all right and she said oh sure all right cool and she come in she saw the room you could see she was like whoa wait what, no, what was happening in here wait hold on nigga. Right? never said this i'm gonna need some right. help so <laughs> so she came in and you know i left and she cleaned the room she, i said she said okay you can come back in about you know 40 minutes i was like okay so she literally cleaned the room when i came back and opened the door you would have never believed mm. that the room was trash mm-hmm. spotless <laughs> wow and i was like whoa so i went so i was like all right cool went in my pants pocket and i took out a hundred us and i give it to her not enough and i said thank not you. enough <laughs> and i said thank you and she she was like no 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 and i was like no man have it so i hold her and i put it in it i said no man have it it's all right it's cool and she said no 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 you sure i said yeah sure took the money and she left the next day our fire bills me now <laughs> <laughs> the next day <laughs> or she money uh, she came back and knocked on the door so I opened the door and I was like, what's up? I said, you know, we didn't request housekeeping. I tried to make sure that the room was fine. She said, no, 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 no. Um, uh, you have a second? I said, ah, oh, sure. What's up? She said, um, can you, can you come out the room? I said, I said, no, 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 no. Why? Come in, come in. <laughs> she said, ah, no, I, 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 with people. I said, so look out and I see a bunch of people. So I said, no, man, sorry. They can't come in the room. So she brought them in the room. And then when she brought them in the room, she introduced me to the guy who was her father. And her father said to me that um, this is my daughter. And if you're interested, you can marry her. Yeah, the, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah so where does that it, 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 was, come from? It, it was the father, the mother, and two kids plus herself. So apparently, <laughs> so apparently I was like, marry? Um, <laughs> no thanks but daddy i meet no, good man no. good man have no, no. money i, I said, want to I marry said, him i said thanks but nah <laughs> no 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 so let me tell you what really happened. Yo, do it again, Jazz. <laughs> Good time. Have no, enough no money. Real. Yeah, for real. <laughs> so let me tell you what happened. Apparently, what I didn't know, and that I found out this after I, after I left. Is it something about they the left. culture? Yeah, so, so here's the thing. So mm. here's the thing. Apparently, <laughs> when you are like a ancillary staff, mm-hmm. your monthly salary is 20 US. So you give... I think right now, the monthly, the monthly that... salary, oh the monthly salary now, I think for people who are like ancillary staff in Ethiopia, is like 70, US, 70, 73 no. US now. No. But at the time, it was 20. Yeah, it was like 20. And you gave her five And I gave her $100. So that was like five months salary. Yeah. And, and he, yeah and he was like no you can marry my daughter and take her back it's okay <laughs> and i'm like pops thanks but and i went in my pocket and i actually gave oh, i gave two kids 
Five US. Yo, shall stop. You know, since I don't get in the first place. I give five. They were bestowed. They were engaged. They were engaged. No, but actually, remember, they were actually a family now. Yeah, oh. but, but remember, I didn't notice until after they left. You know, yeah. so so I was just talking, and I was like, Oh, no, so you know, no, 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 give no, more money. You know? Yeah, so I'm just like, so that's the kids, and I was like, Oh, give them five US each. Oh God. And I was like, No thanks, but you know, she did. And I was like, No, your daughter did a great job. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And they left. And it's when I ask somebody there, mm-hmm. tell me. And I was like, oh, damn. And I'm like, look at that. Cheese. Look what you just took at Ethiopia. <laughs> we stuck at Ethiopia. We will come back to Jamaica no. with two pennies and a wife. No, but, no, but I'm just saying. No, the, 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 the kids. No, man. Remember, it's a daughter, you know. The kids. Oh, kids it was the man and his daughter. His the man, man and his father. wife. Mm-hmm. And then it was mm-hmm. her. And her two younger siblings. Oh, it's the siblings, right. oh. not her kids. Oh. It's not her kids. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, so I look at that and I was like, boy, imagine so many times I'm complaining about so many things. Mm. And yet still you have people, you have people out there who, who, have, who have so little and they're so grateful and yeah. we have so much sometimes and we're still complaining. True. So it was True. a really humbling experience for me. And I was just like, man, jeez. Really need to change my perspective. Father, you Why? have to oh, come oh. and meet him. <laughs> and how old was her? How was she? How was she look? I think like she probably was maybe about 23 or so. Is he in? Yeah. Your man, ready for marry. She, she look good? <laughs> no, man, she was solid. Solid. So shall I never feel tempted S- at all? No, 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 no. Shall no, I hear no, marriage no. and he's like, ah! Wait, wait, if I could yeah, just if, be with yeah, her just not off our body, you know, for yeah, tonight, when I'm like, good no, father, no, I'm not no, prostituting no. that a dirty bitch. <laughs> Marry my daughter. <laughs> and, and then I would say, like, the, the final story I'll give you was I w- was in Florida. You know, in dance hall, you always see the artists, they sing all of these gangster songs, and yeah. you're like, these guys are some tough dudes, and you're like, man, you really don't want to mess with them like that. But anyway, so we're in Florida with a, with a group, I'm not going to call the name, or the individual. So we're there. And, um, <laughs> it's a group, we can't narrow it down. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. When I say group, I mean, as, as it, was, it was an artist with several individuals. I see, right. of course. And so we were there in Florida. I think it was... Um, I'm trying to remember Fort Lauderdale to be exact. Mm. So we were in Fort Lauderdale. And we were staying at um I think it was the Marriott, Spring Hill. Right. Uh so the guys wanted to go outside and smoke. They wanted to smoke, so we had to go outside. So we went outside into the parking lot era. So there's a lot of vegetation and trees and stuff. So they were everybody in the um flip-flop and slides and chilling and smoking and we reasoning and thing and then we only i heard boop, like something drop on the ground mm. Mm. so when something drop i go like that i said oh look it's a iguana <laughs> so by the time i said hey look it's a iguana every man cut <laughs> and i said it's a, it. i'm telling you <laughs> I'm telling you, you seeing Bolt on his best day would have run dead last to these guys on his best day. Sorry, you can't call him on the <laughs> nah, I'm telling you, on his best day, you seeing Bolt would have run last to everybody. Yeah. I, yes, 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 those clones. For a minute, I thought these guys had like teleportation powers. Yeah, they literally just went and disappeared. Instant transmission. <laughs> And I'm like, I don't know. But I look, but, but the truth is that I get it. You know, I spend some time in Trinidad and I'm accustomed to iguanas. Yeah. But I get it because the iguana was probably about... It does sound like it's heavy. Can about, it, some it was about six feet from head to tail. <laughs> Well, a six foot. Yeah, about six feet. A six foot iguana. The one that must have said, boom, <laughs> Yes. No, they grow, they grow massive, man. Yeah, about six foot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> From head to tail. That bigger than me, no shout out. Bigger than me. My five, six. So I see it and I was like, hey. You're sure. And, and trust me. So, so I, for a minute, I was like, I was like, no, man. I look like I need to take a flight to to California or something and go talk to Marvel about enlisting these guys into the next <laughs> like, <laughs> series or something because these guys have powers. 
<laughs> and later when I saw them, I was like, hey, what's up with that? And all I man says is like, yo, I'm going to run Lizard Joe. <laughs> <laughs> And that was it. No, not no ah! said. Yeah. Remember say yeah, a like, crooked lizard and, and grown lizard we used to know. <laughs> what you go on Yeah, like funny if one of them take out them gun and shoot at it. <laughs> no, it was a massive yeah, lizard, you know, a massive, back. but yeah. No, so I get, it. I, get it. I get it. I get it. And as a matter of fact, there was a female artist, female dancehall artist who was actually walking towards us yeah. when it dropped out of the tree and trust me yeah, she made a, a, a u-turn <laughs> and head for the lobby screaming at the top of her voice Gang way. <laughs> she was like top speed <laughs> out of the school. <laughs> so i was the only one and i was like okay all right cool i was like nice to go on yeah. Yeah, oh, Mr. Tough Bad guy. man image. Mr. That tough guy over here. Mr. I'm like, tough guy. Mr. Tough yeah. guy. I'm like, man, these guys sing all these tough songs and you think like, yo, these guys are ruthless. Like, <laughs> no, they're not. I, res- I respect their flight system. Yeah. So yeah. There is no need to I'm fight. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, Usain Bolt on his best day, Could Beijing never. 2008 <laughs> summer, he would have ran dead last to these guys. <laughs> dead hilarious. last. That's hilarious. <laughs> Well, almost time I, oh, well, I shall to tell the story though. Tell us the story of when I do on your challenge hmm. vibes cartel to a clash. How were, how did you get involved in that whole story and situation? No, well, as you know, at the at the time I was working as a country writer um for the tabloids and mm. and also I had 876radio.com and pretty much, you know. I went I went to 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 visit Diddy at the time and um I think Cartel had done an interview where he was saying someone grabbing at straws. Yes, I something remember. to that effect. It was like a radio interview. Right. Yeah, he did a radio interview and made a, an assertion that somebody grabbing at straws. Mm. Right. Basically him try, basically he was trying to say like I don't know is a is a drowning man grabbing at straws. Mm. Right. So then I as you know, because of my alignment to the Fort Jenner camp, I went of and course. I was having a conversation with Diddy about it. And um, everybody just happened to be there when we were speaking about it. And um, what in face? <laughs> I spoke to Diddy and I said, you know, these were the, these were the statements made by Vibes, mm. you know. So, I mean, what are your thoughts on it? And yeah, and that is when Diddy decide, no, you know, he's just going to just speak his truth. Which you, which is what you heard in the interview. So you I basically must... spurred it up. No, I just informed him about the yeah. situation. <laughs> just informed him. I just informed him about the situation, and then you he... know, but you know, you know how he would have reacted to. <laughs> you had an idea. Not really. Not necessary. <laughs> <laughs> Not necessary. You know, I mean, I don't know is a, I don't know is just, I don't know is his own man. Yeah. And he always has his own way of, of doing things. So okay. I mean, I, I literally just asked the question and he responded. You so you you make him know about the comments and then what? Who made the decision? Say we're going to film this and we're no, gonna... I decided no. I I told him that beforehand that I was going to film it. Oh, okay. Right. So then we were filming from the outset. Mm. So he knew that, and then you know, I, I, I think Cartel had some song at, about dance or superhero, such and such yeah. and such. Yeah, we're I don't know, right? So, dance or superhero. Uh, so I don't know into that, that, right? <laughs> so them a dance or superhero, superhero with tights and braids, yeah. 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 bad man, yeah. blah blah blah, right? Yes. So that was that whole episode, and then you know, and and of course you know he he issued the the ultimatum to cartel mm. you know giving you three days to answer not into no more talking no we not a, no right. interview right. song right. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the famous line <laughs> 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 that's hilarious i think he did say something about um something about uh superhero wear tights and brief yeah they're yeah. my fish Yes, I think man, he did a bad say. man. Yeah. Remember, me they even swim, <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, we first start about clocks and right, then yes, so, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so at the time, did you think that Carter would have answered the, the challenge? Because at the time, seeing like Carter did a big league. I think, I think vibes, 
Vibes realized that if he responded to that, it would have probably catapulted Idonia even further. Mm. And so he decided that he wouldn't. And instead, you know, Idonia would have to, he would leave Idonia to work to gain his own prominence. Mm. I mean, not that Idonia was prominent, but in terms of added prominence, mm. right? He would have to work to gain that. And, um, and yes, yeah, so he created a rift, but out of that, a further rift, but out of that also came one of Idonia's best work. I, I think the song is called "Them on a Bad Man." Yes, I right. remember that. And that was a, that was a, that was such a that was such a gem of a song. Art of War as well. That did bad. But yeah, I think this was one of the clashes that the whole a dance I wanted, but just never materialized. You know, I actually met Idonia the first time I actually encountered Idonia, and I reminded him when I saw him was when. Um, he he had the song called I think it's Jolly. Why you look so, so jolly, jolly with the lolly? Right. So he was driving at the time. I was driving a Nissan Sony B13, <laughs> and he was driving um, an X5, mm. pretty X5, silver, and he's just like shooting down the road, like mm, chewing up the road. And I'm there just you know casually going along, and this man just round me and rocks right in front of Princeville Plaza and, and shoot, and I'm like. So I had to pull up and I was like, boss, what kind of nonsense is this? <laughs> yeah, boss. <laughs> boss. <laughs> what kind of nonsense is so wait, this? This is, the, this is your first encounter. Yeah, this is the first time I encountered him. And I'm like, boss, what kind of nonsense is this? So you never know who he was? No. Wow. I'm like, this is not a racetrack. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. You need to do better, bro. What is that? B1? Huh? Oh, B yeah. Google it here. B12. B13. B13. Yeah, it's a Nissan Sunny. <laughs> see. I want to see what car it is. Right. Mm -hmm. So I mean, I was like, I mean, it, it's a it's a regular old car, and I was just like, come on, man, you yeah, have no, to do better than that. See because I say, hey, that deserve to get run off. Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> yes, right. because I mean, as I said, and, and and at that time, you know, I don't. Yeah, pretty much, you know, he had the. He was, you know, drive fast, the glasses and the, the look. You know, yeah. he had that look. So he you know? didn't know I don't know too, yeah. He didn't know No, and, and he just know him. No, I didn't know him. Mm. Oh. That's the first encounter. But I, I remember with him. with him. Like, did you know I was saying, did you know that he was Idonia that was No, I didn't know who he was. At yeah. the time. So you remember him? All I no, because no, I Jesus. I eventually met him. Mm. I eventually met him. Um I think how I originally met Idonia, it was, it was um, ZJ Wawa who originally introduced me to Idonia. Yeah. <clears throat> right. And he said, yo, yo, why you, you meet me DJ? Because I recruited Wawa from George's mm. as part of the sound system I had. And then Wawa said, I want you to meet my DJ. And then I met him and I was like, oh, it's you. You were that crazy dude that was on the road that almost <laughs> killed me. So this was like... <laughs> I mean, I remember everybody who ran me off of the road. That's yeah. why I was wondering, like. No, but it was, but, but as I said. Should I remember the car? Probably remember I remember the car and I remember it was right there at Princeville because mm. Scatter had a studio right at Princeville. Okay. So did he remember you? I don't think so. No. <laughs> I don't think so. Well, yeah, that boy, brother. He probably Because <laughs> he barely, he barely just kind of cracked his window and looked at me like this. This oh, minion. Yeah, he never answer PR. you 13. Yeah. Yes. He never answer you. No. You no. He just kind of cracked his window and just looked like this pawn. <laughs> and just drove pawn. off. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but okay. yeah, I remember, I remember that so vividly. And I was so what do you remind him of? Why did say? No, he just chuckled and he just moved past that, you know. Mm -hmm. He said, so they don't know easy. the thing, go. Right. About people there, though. Move yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, that's it. He just said, don't know the thing, come on. And, yeah. and kept it moving. That, that was it. Yeah, Jeff. It's funny how fate works out mm. at that point. Eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And of course, there are tons of other stories, but I really can't get into it. Next, that, that after the next no, yeah. edition. Part three. <laughs> and next time, I'll tell you, on the fix. you know, how I had to run for my life in Europe, how I had to yeah. scale it. The wall to so uh, how I to run, leave my two suitcase full of clothes in Europe. I'll tell you that. Yeah, we we'll have a series and next time. Yes, the Shadow Chronicles. <laughs> right, we'll have a series. The man man. nearly get married. Of course, my inner story. Shadow, God, yeah, do. God do. God do. Anyways, boss suits time. Time is upon us. Yeah. Well, win pass. Shadow, your yeah, guess who's your boss suits artist and some uh, Jades. Alright, what a song. 
the song is called All On You. Here we go. Here's some other people. Yeah, I'm a boom. Me while you ride the tall bamboo. If I know you, who you want me coming at? If I know you, it's all on you. If I give you this, girl, it's all on you. As that was Jade's All On You. Ari, who's your pick this week? Oh, so the song is called 247 Extend and this, the artist is called Chris, Christian. K H R S T V A. Mm-hmm. All right. There we go. Joseph, spell it out. All right, so that was Kristen, Kristen, <laughs> Kristen, and, and the song two, is two, four, seven, seven, X Dine. X Dine. All right, Javs. <laughs> yeah, this this week. Uh this week I'm using Feli Icon feature and precise, and the name of the song is Stay Up. All right, yes, I'm right there. Real life, me go make you believe. Hustle for the money, so we are gonna be rich. And you care in a mansion where me a prick. Be a bit more me do it. My family, them know me stay up. Sleep on Production done by Pay Beats. Big up yourself, Pay Beats. That was pretty I can precise stay up. That week I think I'll go f- with um two familiar faces. You know? Naomi Cohen, Runkus, the wizard mm. produced song called Lucky Me, here some I can. You should have ghost me, know you're haunted But we always That was Naomi Cohen's second single from her upcoming mixtape Alright I think it's out right now, actually Lucky Me featuring Runkus and The Wizard And that just about does it for Bust Youth Song of the Week People, remember, you can listen to the full songs on our verified Bust Youth <laughs> playlist on Audio Mac Right, we're going to try to leave the description well the link we're going to try to pin the link to the videos and post them on instagram right now all right so let's look out for that people who are listening to this of course and yeah make sure to do all of that give thanks to our special guest shadow for joining us this week Yay. best up to shadow all right big up congratulations again to javiel <laughs> big up jervis on his birthday big up jervis on his birthday all right Javi, you, you have any news to break in regards to, you know, the things in your belly? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> no more words there. Of course, people can follow me, E-D-O-T-N-A-R-O on Instagram and Twitter. You can follow me on Instagram at A-R-I-H-A-M-M-O-N-D. Javi. Follow me on Instagram at Just Javs and subscribe. I got new content on my YouTube channel, Just Javs. She, All got right. she got new vlogs up. She got release her yeah. kids' handles soon. Oh, kids Instagram. Got, <laughs> that is coming on. That is coming. What, what vlogs do you have up there? Um, wedding vlog, um, uh, behind the scenes, wedding, wedding. dress, yes, and my bridal shower. Because yeah. I didn't know. Be wild like y'all niggas. Yeah, yeah we can't show that yeah, in the vlog. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so, people can not follow you on Instagrams or on, on, on any social media. <clears throat> Prism, P R I S M underscore marketing C O. Mm-hmm. Shadow Wiki, you know? And Shadow said, we rude him life. You know? Shadow told me that from the, the last, the first um, podcast appearance, how much people are gaming for business and all these things. Oh, Shadow, manage me. Manage me. I'm like, look at that. Yes, I'm ruining your life. Shadow. <laughs> I'm grateful. <laughs> you want content for the podcast or you want? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, people, that just about <laughs> does it for us here. We're going to you know, kick out. Give thanks for listening, watching, all that good stuff. As I said, we're going to kick out.